Hello, freaks of this world and other worlds. Welcome to Caliber Explosion. I am your host, Corey. Today I bring to you some news I'm happy to bring to you. It's been floating around the internet for some time, but I never got a chance to talk about it. But it's about Saw Legacy. And there has been uh, some photos leaked off set about maybe some details regarding the movie. Anyway, there's no such that there's no detail yet if Saw Legacy is a continuation or if they're doing like a prequel or if they're just rebooting the franchise, which I hope is not the case because that's going to upset me immensely. But the foot the the photo that we have seen is is pretty simple. It's a photo of John Kramer, who is also known as uh, Jigsaw, who's played by Tobin Bell. It's his grave site, his gravestone, and his, it's been it's like dug up, and his uh, coffin is sitting like right off of the grave, which leads me to believe a couple things, which is like either FBI forensic and all that dig up John Kramer's body for more evidence considering in Saw 4 when, you know, they found the tape in his stomach for Detective Hoffman. Or it's just something that, since this is a legacy, we might have a copycat killer of Jigsaw himself and he's using Jigsaw's body as some type of ritual thing in saying that, like, the torch is being passed on to whoever is now involved which if this is the case I have some beef because a couple years ago I wrote a fan fiction called Saul colon rebirth which basically played out the same way I created a character who was a neglected survival uh, victim and never got the whole apprentice treatment that you know Hoffman did or Amanda or Art Blank or Dr. Gordon all did. So he takes matters into his own hands years later after, you know, the Jigsaw events have ended and now Dr. Gordon is kind of like laying back now that Jigsaw's final words and his his uh, work is finished with uh, throwing Hoffman away and basically locking him in a hole and throwing away the key. If that's the case, I don't know how I'm going to go about that but it's definitely my words that I wrote. And <laughs> I'll be excited if it's like that because it means I'm thinking the same way that all the song writers and producers and directors are thinking. And it's like, why not give me a job? Because obviously we're all on the same page. But for right now, that's all we have of Saw Legacy. Uh, it's very, very minimal uh, information. But I hope it's enough to kind of hold us over to whenever we get a trailer, which I assume will probably be early next summer. Who knows? I'm excited. The Saw series is one of my favorite series in the horror genre. So I'm excited what they do with it. It's been a couple years, like 2010 or 11, since we got the last, uh, last installment, which was Saw 3D, which we won't talk about because... It left a lot of us fans feeling very, uh, very used. I know I felt used. You, like, you used my time and money to progress in this storyline. Which most people don't know that the last Saw movie was actually supposed to be in two parts. But the sixth one did not do what Lionsgate was hoping for money-wise and like box office-wise. So Lionsgate and the production company only gave... Uh, geez, like Kevin Greuter, I believe his name was, the director of the sixth and the last movie, gave him the money to do it and had to basically combine two movies into one. That's what happens. But hopefully they can right their wrongs in Saw Legacy.